हेलो स्टूडेंट्स जिनाली शाह वेलकम्स यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सारस्वत इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी टुडे वी विल बिगिन विद द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर बॉडी फ्लूड एंड सर्कुलेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड रिगार्डिंग द क्लॉटिंग ऑफ द ब्लड दैट इज मैकेनिज्म ऑफ हाउ क्लॉटिंग टेक्स प्लेस वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टडीड रिगार्डिंग द सर्कुलेटरी पाथवेज इन विच वी हैव स्टडीड ओपन एंड क्लोज सर्कुलेशन as well as we have studied the evolution of the heart in different vertebrates right in which we have studied regarding the single circulation incomplete double circulation as well as double circulation now students in today's video we will be talking about the human circulatory system uh, and in human circulatory system in today's lecture today mainly we will be studying regarding the human heart human circulatory system also called as the blood vascular system it consists of muscular chambered heart a network of closed branching blood vessels and blood the fluid which is circulated so there are three components of the human circulatory system heart blood vessels and the blood so in today's video basically we will be dealing with the structure of heart so first of all let us study regarding the external structure of heart heart the mesodermally derived organ is situated in thoracic cavity in between two lungs slightly tilted to the left so from which germinal layer heart is formed it is formed from the mesoderm where is it situated in the thoracic cavity where in thoracic cavity so it is located between the two lungs and it is slightly tilted towards the left side it has a size of a clenched fist clenched fist yani closed fist which appears to be like that of a tight ball so that is the size of the heart it is protected by double walled membranous bag called as pericardium which encloses the pericardial fluid so heart is protected by the two membranous uh bag or you can say there are two membranes surrounding the heart together they are called as the pericardium and between these two membrane is the presence of the fluid called as the pericardial fluid the inner visceral pericardium is attached to the heart and the outer parietal pericardium and the space between the two is called pericardial cavity which consists of the pericardial fluid so uh, how many membranes are there it is a double walled membrane so two membranes the inner membrane which is uh, located or which is attached to the wall of the heart is called as the uh, visceral pericardium and the one which is located to the outer side is called as the parietal pericardium the space between these two membrane is called as pericardial cavity and it is filled with a fluid called as the pericardial fluid this fluid keeps the heart moist it allows its free movement and it reduces the friction between the heart wall and the surrounding tissues when the heart beats so basically its function is to keep the heart moist and it reduces the friction between the walls when the heart is beating the pericardium protects the heart from mechanical injury and also checks the over stretching or over filling with the blood so what is the general function of pericardium its function is to protect the heart from any of the mechanical injury and it also check whether the uh, uh, heart is uh, uh, filled over filled with the blood or not so that checking will be also done by the pericardium our heart has four chambers two relatively smaller upper chambers called atria and the two lower chambers called as the ventricle so total there are four chambers in the heart the upper two chambers are called as the uh, auricles which are smaller and the lower two chambers are called ventricles which are larger the auricles are demarcated externally from the ventricles by an irregular groove groove is a depression or a pit like structure which is called as the coronary sulcus so the two auricles extern uh, sorry the auricle externally are uh, differentiated from ventricles by the groove called as the coronary sulcus the two ventricles are demarcated externally from each other by an oblique groove called as interventricular sulcus so externally the two ventricles are also separated from each other right 
and the separation between them is by a groove called as the interventricular sulcus so externally the auricles are separated from ventricle by coronary sulcus and the two ventricles externally are separated from each other by a groove called as the interventricular sulcus now the internal structure of the heart internally the heart is divided into four chambers two auricles or atria and two ventricles a thin muscular wall called interatrial septum separates the right and left atria whereas the thick walled interventricular septum separates the left and right ventricles so internally two auricles are separated from each other by a muscular partition muscular wall which is called as inter inter yani between atrial that is between the atria so the two atria are separated from each other by a median partition muscular partition which is called as interatrial septum similarly the two ventricles are internally separated from each other by a thick wall interventricular septum the auricles they act as collecting chambers for the blood returning to the heart whereas ventricles act as the distributing chambers for the blood reaching from the atria so uh, auricles they collect the blood which is returning to the heart yani different organ mein se jo blood aata hai wo collect kon karta hai auricles auricles they distribute the blood from the to the ventricles which uh, distribute the blood to all parts of the body so auricles are collecting chambers and ventricles are called as the distributing chambers the ventricles have thicker walls than the auricles have why the walls of the auricles are thick uh, of ventricles are thicker than the auricles why because auricles have to distribute the blood only to the ventricles and these ventricles just lie below the auricles and hence the wall of the auricles are uh, thinner or you can say the walls of the ventricle are thicker than the auricles and in ventricles too the wall of the left ventricle is about 3 times thicker than that of the right ventricle see auricles are ventricle auricles are thinner than ventricles or you can say ventricles are thicker than auricles and now in auricles too the thickness is different the wall of the left ventricle is 3 times more than that of the right ventricle so what is the reason for that this is because the left ventricle has to pump the blood to the farthest end of the body whereas the right ventricle has to send the lungs which lie nearby so auricles are thinner than ventricle what is reason auricles have to supply the blood to the ventricles which lie just below them now in ventricles the left ventricle have thicker wall it is 3 times thicker than the right ventricle what is the reason the right ventricle have to supply the blood to each and every part of the body to the farthest end of the body whereas the right auricle have to supply the blood to the lungs and lungs they lie nearer to the heart so that is regarding the wall of the heart now uh, the different structures within the heart the blood vessels that enter or leave the heart are called as the great blood vessels jo blood vessels heart ke andar aate hai ya heart mein se nikalte hai those blood vessels are called as the great blood vessel so one of the great blood vessel is the vena cava the right auricles receive two large veins which are called as superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava vena cava are considered as the largest veins of the body now one thing you should remember that right part of the heart have the deoxygenated blood left part of the heart have oxygenated blood blood so the right auricles they receive the two largest veins of the body called as the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava the superior vena cava brings the deoxygenated blood from head and upper region of the body whereas the inferior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood from the lower end of the body superior yani upper and inferior yani lower side so superior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood 
from the head and other upper organs of the body an inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from the lower region of the body the opening of the inferior vena cava is bordered by membranous fold which is the remnant of the fetal wall of eustachius so basically inferior vena cava's opening into the right auricle is guarded by a membranous structure which is a remnant remnant yani remains of the fetal wall of eustachius in the fetal condition there was a wall between the inferior vena cava and the right auricle that wall was the wall of eustachius now ye wall ke jo remnants the remains are these are the membranous structure which guards the opening of the inferior vena cava into the right auricle now the right auricle it also receives the small coronary sinus which returns the deoxygenated blood from the heart wall now jaise each and every organs ko jaise blood ki zarurat hai wall of the heart also requires the blood to carry out its function वो जो ब्लड आएगा वो कोरोनरी आर्टरी होगी अभी कोरोनरी आर्टरी में से ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड जाएगा वो ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड वॉल ऑफ द हार्ट यूज करेगा एंड नाउ दिस डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड अगेन विल रिटर्न टू द राइट ऑरिकल सो कौन वो लेकर आता है कोरोनरी साइनस इट्स ओपनिंग इज गार्डेड बाय द वॉल ऑफ थिबेशियस सो द ओपनिंग ऑफ द कोरोनरी साइनस इन द राइट ऑरिकल इज गाइडेड बाय द वॉल ऑफ थिबेशियस वॉल्व का काम क्या है दे प्रिवेंट द बैक फ्लो ऑफ द ब्लड वो ब्लड को उल्टी डायरेक्शन में बैक फ्लो नहीं होने देता है कोई भी वॉल्व होगा दे प्रिवेंट द बैक फ्लो ऑफ द ब्लड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द राइट एवी अपर्चर ऑन एंड द ट्राई क्यू स्पीड वॉल्व द राइट ऑरिकल्स इट ओपन इन टू राइट वेंट्रिकल थ्रू अ वाइड पैसेज कॉल्ड एज द राइट ऑरिक्यूलो वेंट्रिकुलर अपर्चर और एवी अपर्चर so between the right auricle and right ventricle is an opening is an passage that passage is called as the right auriculo ventricular aperture or right av aperture this aperture or you can say opening is guarded by one way wall called as the tricuspid wall abhi ye opening is guarded by what it is protected by a wall what is that wall called as ट्राइक्यूस्पिड वॉल्व अभी ये ट्राइक्यूस्पिड वॉल्व कैसा वॉल्व है वन वे वॉल्व है यानी वो ब्लड ऑरिकल में से वेंट्रिकल में ही ला सकता है वेंट्रिकल में से ब्लड कभी भी वो ऑरिकल में लेकर नहीं जा सकता है वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज ट्राइक्यूस्पिड वॉल्व दिस वॉल्व हैज थ्री मेम्ब्रेनस फ्लैप्स और कस्ट कस्ट यानी देर आर थ्री ट्राइंगुलर सेगमेंट्स एंड ये ट्राइंगुलर सेगमेंट क्लोज हो जाती है वेन इट इज फिल्ड विद द ब्लड The next one is pulmonary arch and the semilunar valve. Now, from its upper left corner, the right ventricle gives off a large blood vessel called as pulmonary arch or pulmonary aorta. See, right. पहले हम right side देख रहे हैं. Right auricle को blood कौन देता है? Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus. Right auricle में से blood कहाँ पे जाएगा? Right ventricle. Now, right ventricle में से blood कहाँ पे जाता है Pulmonary arch और it is called as the pulmonary aorta. Now, this pulmonary arch it divides into right and left pulmonary arteries and these arteries carry the deoxygenated blood to lungs for oxygenation. So, these are the only arteries which carry the deoxygenated blood. Normally, arteries they carry the oxygenated blood, but pulmonary arteries which come out from the pulmonary arch or you can say which comes out from the right uh, right ventricle it carries the deoxygenated blood and wo deoxygenated blood ko kahan pe lekar jayega it is the lungs abhi lungs mein blood ka kya hoga oxygenation hoga what happens in the lungs in the lungs the blood is oxygenated at the base of the pulmonary arch are three membranous pocket shaped flaps which are called as the semilunar or sl valve so at the base of the pulmonary arch is the presence of the semilunar valve ye kya karte hai they prevent the return of the blood to the ventricles valve always ek hi direction mein blood ko move hone deta hai right they do not allow the two way movement they allow only the one way movement so blood from the ventricles will come into the pulmonary arch but from blood from pulmonary arch can never go back to the 
वेंट्रिकल्स बिकॉज इसके बीच में जो वॉल्व है वो वॉल्व रिटर्न फ्लो बैक फ्लो को प्रिवेंट करता है नाउ द पल्मोनरी वेन्स सो ये अभी तक हमने राइट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट देखा है राइट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट ब्लड किसको देता है इट गिवज इट टू द लंग्स एंड देर फोर दैट राइट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज द पल्मोनरी हार्ट नाउ पल्मोनरी वेन्स द राइट ऑरिकल रिसीव द फोर पल्मोनरी वेन्स टू फ्रॉम ईच साइड नाउ ऑरिकल्स क्या रिसीव करते हैं ऑरिकल्स वेन्स को रिसीव करते हैं एंड वेंट्रिकल्स में से क्या अराइज होता है आर्ट्रीज अराइज होता है ये याद रखना है नाउ दिस इज ओनली द एक्सेप्शन नॉर्मली वेन्स कैरी द डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड बट पल्मोनरी वेन्स इमर्जिंग फ्रॉम द लंग्स इट कैरीज द डी इट कैरीज द ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड एंड इट एम्पटीज दैट ब्लड इन टू द लेफ्ट ऑरिकल they bring the oxygenated blood from the lungs they have no valves now left av aperture and the bicuspid valve the left auricles opens below into the left ventricle by a large passage called as the left auriculoventricular aperture or av aperture now between the left auricle and left ventricle is the wide passage or large passage and that passage is called as the left auriculoventricular aperture aperture is the opening or also short form is called as av aperture this aperture is guarded by one way valve known as the bicuspid or mitral valve so yahan pe bhi valve hai that opening is guarded by a valve and what is that valve called as bicuspid or mitral valve ye valve ke paas do flaps ya cusps hai so what are cusps they are the triangular segments of the valve which opens or closes with the flow of the blood now systemic aorta and semilunar valve jaise राइट ऑरिकल और राइट वेंट्रिकल किस में ओपन होता था इट वॉज ओपनिंग इन टू पल्मोनरी अयोटा सेम वे द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल ऑल्सो ओपन इन टू अयोटा बट हियर द अयोटा इज द सिस्टमिक अयोटा सो एट इट्स अपर राइट एंगल द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल गिवज ऑफ अ लार्ज ब्लड वेसल कॉल्ड ए सिस्टमिक अयोटा दिस सिस्टमिक अयोटा इज थ्री रीजन्स असेंडिंग अयोटा आर्च ऑफ अयोटा एंड डिसेंडिंग अयोटा At the base of the ascending aorta are three membranous pocket-shaped semilunar valves. Just beyond the semilunar valves, the ascending aorta gives off right and left coronary arteries that supply the blood to the heart wall. Now, uh, left uh, ventricle किस में open होती है systemic aorta. ये systemic aorta के कितने regions हैं? Three regions. One is ascending part. so this is ascending aorta this is the arch of aorta and this part is called as the descending aorta uh, now at the bay uh, sorry uh, uh, this is called as the uh, descending aorta this is arch of aorta and this is the ascending aorta right now at the base of the ascending aorta aorta ascending aorta ke niche ki side there are three membranous pocket shaped structure called as semilunar valve and semilunar valve prevents the blood which have entered into aorta from returning it again to the left ventricles just beyond the semilunar valves the ascending aorta gives off the large and left and right coronary arteries so from the ascending aorta arises the right and left coronary arteries and these arteries they supply the blood to the heart wall The arch of aorta gives the three large artery. Now, arch में से three bigger arteries arise. One is brachiocephalic artery, which supplies the blood to the right arm and head and neck region. Then the left common carotid artery, which supplies the blood to head and neck region, and left subclavian arteries, which supply the blood to thorax, head, neck, shoulder, and arms region. Whereas the descending arch. it extends through the trunk and supplies the deoxygenated blood to various parts except the lungs so descending a uh, arch wo thorax tak extend hoga and then it supplies the blood to each and every organ of the body except for the lungs now spinsters of the great veins so what are spinsters of the great veins at their entry into the atria great veins kahan pe open hoti hai atria अभी हमने नॉर्मली देखा कि जब ग्रेट वेंस एट्रिया में ओपन होती है तो वहाँ पे आ, क्या नहीं है वहाँ पे 
वॉल्व नहीं है सो so चांसेस हो सकते हैं कि ऑरिकल में से ब्लड फिर से ग्रेट वेन में जा जा सके सो so उसको प्रिवेंट करने के लिए देर आर स्पिंस्टर्स सो एट देर एंट्री इन टू द एट्रिया वीनाकावा एंड पल्मोनरी वेन्स हैव द रिंग्स ऑफ मसल्स विच कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड क्लोज ऑफ दिस वेसल्स ड्यूरिंग द एट्रियल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन सो जब एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करता है तो चांसेस होते हैं कि क्या होगा एट्रिया में से ब्लड ये ग्रेट वेन्स में चला जाए ऐसा ना हो उसके लिए ग्रेट वेन्स जब ऑरिकल्स में एंटर होती है जहाँ पे वहाँ पे देर आर रिंग्स ऑफ मसल्स ये मसल्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होते हैं एंड जब ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होते हैं तो ये वेसल्स क्लोज हो जाते हैं जिसकी वजह से देर वोंट बी द बैक फ्लो ऑफ द ब्लड फ्रॉम ऑरिकल्स इन टू द ग्रेट वेन्स सो दिस प्रिवेंट्स द रिफ्लक्स ऑफ द ब्लड इन टू दैम नाउ दिस इज वॉट आई टॉट यू इन सम वॉट डिटेल पोर्शन We will see what is mentioned in your textbook. Our heart has four chambers, two relatively smaller upper chambers called or atria, also called as auricles, two larger lower chambers called ventricles. A thin muscular wall called interatrial septum separates the right and left atria, whereas a thick wall, the inner interventricular septum, separates the right and left ventricles. The Atrium and ventricle of the same side are also separated by a thick fibrous tissue called as the atrioventricular septum. So, the auricles and ventricles of the same side are separated by a fibrous tissue, and that fibrous tissue is called as atrioventricular septum. However, each of these septa are provided with an opening which, through which the two chambers of the same side are connected. Now, auricle and ventricle of the same side. Say, for example, right auricle or right ventricle के बीच में एक partition है, septum है, which is called as the auriculoventricular septum. अभी ये septum में एक opening है, जिसकी वजह से right auricle gets connected with the right ventricle. The opening between the right auricle and right ventricle is guarded by a wall formed of three muscular flaps or cusp, which is known as tricuspid wall, whereas a bicuspid or mitral wall guards the opening between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The openings of the right and left ventricles into the pulmonary artery and aorta, respectively. Right ventricle open into pulmonary artery, or you can say pulmonary aorta, which splits into pulmonary artery. Whereas the left ventricle open into the aorta or simply called as the systemic aorta, which are provided with the semilunar wall. Both these aorta are supplied with the semilunar wall. The walls of the heart allows the blood to flow only in one direction, that is from atria to ventricles and from ventricles to the pulmonary artery or aorta. This wall prevents the backflow of the blood. So, see, students, this is the uh section of the human heart this is aorta pulmonary artery pulmonary veins left auricle bundle of his now what is bundle of his wo hum abhi dekhenge left ventricle interventricular septum the apical portion right ventricle cordae tendine now what are cordae tendine so these are the thread like bands of the fibrous tissue which attach on one end to the edges of the bicuspid and tricuspid valve of the heart सो ये कॉर्डे टेंडिने है दे आर द बेंड्स ऑफ थ्रेड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द फाइबरस कनेक्टिव टिश्यू उसका एक एंड किससे कनेक्टेड है टू द एजेस ऑफ द बाइक्यूस्पिड एंड ट्राइक्यूस्पिड वॉल एंड दूसरा एंड किससे अटैच है सो दे आर ऑन अदर एंड टू द पेपिलरी मसल्स ना व्हाट आर पेपिलरी मसल्स दे आर द स्मॉल मसल्स विद इन द हार्ट दैट सर्व टू एंकर द वॉल्स सो हार्ट के वॉल में स्मॉल मसल्स है जो क्या करते हैं वो वॉल्स को हार्ट में जो वॉल्स है उनको वो सपोर्ट करते हैं दिस इज अविना कावा दिस इज ऐसे नोड दिस इज राइट एट्रियम एंड दिस इज एट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर नोड व्हाट आर दिस ए वी नोड एंड ऐसे नोड वी विल सी दैट सो नाउ द वॉल ऑफ द हार्ट द एंटायर हार्ट इज मेड अप ऑफ कार्डियक मसल्स वॉल ऑफ द हार्ट इज मेड अप ऑफ वॉट मसल्स विच मसल्स कार्डियक मसल्स The walls of the ventricles are much thicker than that of the auricles. Q, because auricles ko blood kisko dena hai, sir ventricles ko, and these ventricles are located just below the auricles, whereas the ventricles have two 
supply the blood to the different organs of the body and hence their walls are thicker than that of the auricles a specialized cardiac musculator called as nodal tissue is distributed in the heart now wall of the heart consists of the special cardiac muscles and that is called as nodal tissue now ye nodal tissue ki do property hai ek to wo uh, nav ki tarah uh, kaam karta hai yani wo excite hokar khud message generate kar sakta hai and then like a muscles it can contract too so it is called as it works as a neuron as well as it acts as a muscle too the nodal tissue consists of sino auricular node or sa node auricular ventricular node or av node bundle of his or also called as auriculo ventricular bundle or av bundle then right and left bundle branches and finally purkinje fibers so these are the various components of the uh, nodal tissue now how nodal tissue works and where it is associated located we will see that a patch of a nodal tissue is present in the upper right corner of the heart uh, right atrium and that is called as sino atrial node or also called as san so sa node is located at the right upper corner of the right auricle then there is a internodal pathway ye internodal pathway sa node ko connect karta hai av node now where is av node located so it is seen in the lower left corner of the right auricle close to the atrioventricular septum so where is it located at the lower left corner of the right auricle nearer to the auriculoventricular septum so basically it can can say that auriculoventricular septum ke nazdik hai so basically we can say it is located between the right auricle and the right ventricle then a bundle of nodal fibers called as atrioventricular bundles they continue from avn that is atrioventricular node which passes through the auriculoventricular septum to emerge on the top of the interventricular septum see av node kahan pe located hai it is closely to the uh, av septum now jaise hi wo av node av septum ke paas aayega wahan pe wo split hoga kis mein split hoga aur basically wo kahan se pass hoga it passes through the interventricular septum the septum between the two ventricles and there it immediately divides into the right and left bundle or you can say the av bundle originates from av node it passes downward through the interauricular and interventricular septum and then divides into the right and left branches one going into wall of each ventricle now ye jo av bundles hai these branches they give rise to the minute fibers and these fibers occur throughout the ventricular musculature of the respective sides and are called purkinje fibers so sa node then av node av node jaise hi septum ke paas pahunchega wo split ho jayega kis mein bundles mein av bundle of his now this bundle of his ke do branches hai right branch and left branch which enters into the respective ventricle now as these branches reach into the uh, into the wall of the ventricle wahan pe wo chote chote aur branches mein divide ho jate hain into fibrous structure which are present in the entire wall of the ventricle and these are called as the purkinje fibers the nodal musculator has the ability to generate the excitation potential without any external stimuli that is it is auto excitable अभी ये जो नोडल टिश्यू है उसके पास ऐसी कैपेसिटी है कि वो एक्शन पोटेंशियल जनरेट कर सकता है एक्शन पोटेंशियल मीन्स इट कैन जनरेट द इम्पल्स इट कैन जनरेट द इम्पल्सिस एंड टू जनरेट इम्पल्सिस उसको बाहर के कोई भी स्टिम्यूलस की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है इट इज ऑटो एक्साइटेबल इट वर्क सेल्फ सेल्फ एक्साइटेशन वहाँ पे होता है however the number of action potentials that could be generated in a minute vary at different parts of the nodal tissue now kitne action potential generate kar sakte hai kitne impulses generate kar sakte hai that differs in each and every part of the nodal tissue 
the sa node has a unique property of self excitation which enables to act as to act as a pacemaker now sa node ki ek important property hai ki it has the property of self excitation wo khud excite hokar message ko generate kar sakte hai so wo message ko generate kar sakte hai iska matlab wo heart uh, heartbeat ko initiate bhi kar sakte hai एंड वो मैसेज को कंडक्ट भी करते हैं ए वी नोड को एंड दूसरा इट ऑल्सो मेंटेन्स द रिदमिसिटी ऑफ द हार्ट बीट एज इट इनिशिएट्स द हार्ट बीट एंड एज इट मेंटेन्स द रिदमिसिटी ऑफ द हार्ट बीट द एस ए नोड इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट पेस मेकर द एस ए एन कैन जनरेट मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ एक्शन पोटेंशियल दैट इज इट कैन जनरेट इम्पल्स वॉट इज एक्शन पोटेंशियल दे आर चेंज इन द membrane potential across the cell membrane of the heart cells which are caused by the movements of the ions in and out of the cell basically ye jo action potential hai hum nervous so system jab study karenge tab zyada clear hoga so maximum number of impulses sa node generate kar sakta hai kitna 70 to 75 per minute and it is responsible for initiating and maintaining the rhythmic contractile activity of the heart so as it uh, initiates the heart beat and as it maintains the rhythmicity of the heart it is called as the pacemaker our heart normally beats 70 to 75 times in a minute that is average is 72 beats per minute so that is regarding the structure of the wall of the heart see students this is the conducting system of the heart pehle aise node internodal pathway av node bundle of his purkinje fibers ye bundle of his do bundles mein separate ho gaye one is the left bundle and then is the right bundle and then they separate into the purkinje fibers now this is the sequence of the electrical conduction of the heart ye left auricle hai ye purkinje fibers hai ye interventricular septum hai this is the right auricle and this is a superior vena cava so this is the sa node which generates the impulses now ye jo arrow dikhaya hai that is the internodal pathway internodal pathway connects the sa node to the av node now this is the location of the av node so the impulses uh, pause at the av node now the av bundle so these are the uh, av bundles these are the av bundles which connects the atria to the ventricle ab ye bundle ke do branches hai one is the right branch and another one is the left one so the bundle branches conduct the impulses through the septum into the interventricular septum and this then they split into the purkinje fibers so the purkinje fiber depolarizes the contractile cells of both ventricles yani message jab purkinje fibers ke paas aayega tab abhi ventricles kya hogi contract hogi dono chamber sath mein contract nahi hoge pehle auricles then ventricles and then again auricles right so this is how the working of the heart occurs okay so uh, these are again the structure of the heart this is a general structure of the heart and this is the section ls longitudinal section of the heart so students i end my lecture here in the next lecture we will be studying regarding the double circulation we will study regarding the uh, structure of the blood vessels okay i end my lecture here thank you students